Everybody is the fake as I make this Every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Everybody in the world blind Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Everybody in the world blind Please Lord give me a sign You guys let me show you guys how cute This part of the school looks like You can see so beautiful guys so this is just like a chilling spot and it's so cute yeah I love the fact that the snow just gives it like this very cute look on the floor so this white thing basically are snow and you can see how cute it is. Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel. What a beautiful weather. It's actually very cold and it is snowing. Welcome you all to my channel. So this is actually like my first official snow year in Poland and it feels so good, right? So good. Let me show you guys what the view looks like. <laughs> Just once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight My place, I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Wants to like create like my vision board for the year and i feel like do you believe in vision boards if you do please put it down in the comment section and in case if you don't believe in it you can also like put it down so for me i feel like it's not just enough for you to create like vision board you also have like the major work like the major work is even to put in the efforts in it and i'm also gonna say that you know when you have like vision boards generally it also has a way to like keep you on track you know things you want to achieve the like during the year and i'm also going to say that it's not necessary that your vision board is for the whole year so you can have like a vision board for a month you can have for a quarter you can have for half of the year it all depends on what you feel and what you think is best for you your business your brand or your career right and another thing i'm also going to say that you know you have to basically like divide like your life into different segments so you have like your spiritual area you have like your finances you have like your career you have like your family you know just like different segments and then you have goals for it generally and you can delegate like things to people but the major thing you cannot delegate is actually like your vision because your vision is quite different from my vision and in as much as you know maybe we have the same vision the way we are going to carry it out is going to be different you get what i'm trying to say but basically i'm going to say that last year was like the first time i ever created like a vision board and my mistakes are basically the fact that one i was not um like i had a way of just like limiting myself generally to be honest because 
looking back at the vision board now i'm like damn it why did i even like set this kind of goals like i could have done better i could have done more and it's also okay for you to have like visions and at the end of the year you are not able to accomplish any one of them it doesn't mean that something is wrong there are things that happen that are even beyond like human like beyond your you that will just happen generally and once it's happened it's going to like affect the vision you have for that goal so it's fine you don't need to like eat up yourself if you are not able to achieve it and also there are certain goals that will go through for a longer period so let's say for an example you want to buy a house you know except if you are very rich you can like achieve it in a year but if you are not too rich such goals as buying a house can appear in like three years it can be like a long-term goal of okay in the next three years i want to get a house and the next two years i want to get a house and why there are some goals that you know you just set that okay you want to get it this month and that so as i creating it it's also necessary for you to also like have a time where you go back to it and also check if what your goals are actually aligned with what you really want so what i'm trying to say is that during the course of the year because they are like 12 months in a year it's okay for your goals to change or it's okay for you to feel like you've outgrown some certain goals and it's okay for you to feel like this goal doesn't really align with what you want so all you have to do is to go back to your vision board and then like correct it so while you are creating vision boards you can either do it like if you can do it like manually go to pinterest gather the pictures use um gather the pictures from pinterest or from google you print it out and then you paste it you know somewhere where you are going to see it every day or every week it all depends on you or you can basically like do it digitally so in case you want to do like a digital vision board maybe you want to put it as a screensaver of your phone or screensaver of your laptop you basically have to like use canva for it download all the pictures of your vision boards and then use canva wallpaper canva to like adjust it basically so i feel like for me those are the mistakes or lessons that i learned generally or these are my opinions about like vision boards and there is this book that you know seven weeks in a year that talks about grouping your vision into quarters so you have like a general goal for the year and every three months or every four months you divide each goals into what you want to achieve right so let's say for an example let's be realistic now so let's say for an example at the end of the year you want to be able to save like a thousand dollars for an example so this book explains that having that goal of one thousand dollars a at the end of the year might be too big that you might not be able to achieve it because you have this mindset of oh it's one thousand dollars is one thousand dollars but rather break down the one thousand dollars into into three months so if you have to break down one thousand dollars into three months it means that at the end of every three months you should have like three hundred dollars so in your mind now you are looking at a smaller figure to save up which is three hundred rather than having that big mindset of one thousand that might scare you so when you have the three hundred dollars now as the goal you also go ahead and break down that three hundred into every month so when you break down 300 into every month it means that at the end of the month you are going to have hundred dollar savings you can see that it's more easy for you to say at the end of the month i want to save hundred dollars than having the mindset of you want to save one thousand at the end of the year so this book also explains that you can also go ahead to break down that monthly goals to weekly goals or to daily goals so you have one thousand you have hundred dollars now as what you want to save at the end of the month you can break it down into daily goals by saying that you want to save five five dollars or zero point five dollars or ten dollars per week with that it's easier for you to really achieve it so every week out of like all your income you can just set aside like let's say five dollars or two dollars and then keep it as savings so with that you discover that your mindset on a daily basis is just a smaller figure which is two dollars or five dollars compared to having the major picture or the big picture of one thousand dollars that when you have the big picture and then you want to save two dollars for an example you are going to doubt yourself that you know when will i use two thousand two dollars to save up to one thousand dollars and with that you might be discouraged but when you break down the goals 
either by monthly or quarterly or weekly or daily depends on you it's easier for you to also like achieve such goals then there's this book also that talked about habits atomic habits um it talked about behaving in a way that you want to achieve your goal you know that one of the easiest ways to basically achieve your goals is to behave as if you are already at your goal points like what this trying to say is basically is that you for an example there's like a very good example you want to go to the gym you want to be fit right you have the mindset of being fit now what you are going to do is that you have to behave as if you are fit already so the question you ask yourself is those that are fit how do they behave how is their daily routine like how is their weekly routine like how do they behave so that is basically about behavior because your behavior has a way to either affect your goals positively or negatively it all depends on the behavior you put towards your goal that you want to achieve at the end of the year so when you have that mindset of how the how do people who are fit behave so the first thing is that they don't eat junks and they also exercise now you implement that behavior into your daily routine that okay i need to eat ld i need to go to the gym just you going to the gym and you eating healthy every single day at the end of the year you definitely achieve your goal so that book was basically talking about your behavior or be your behavior has a way to affect your goals and rather than looking at the goal as a big picture that might scare you um channel it down to your behavior act the way you want to act do you get like act the way those that have achieved your goals are supposed to act or act the way when you achieve your goals you are going to behave something like that but i hope you guys get what i'm trying to say generally so that is something else i really want to like put out there just in case and it's never too late for you to set out like your goals for the year don't be pressured that you know your goals for the year has to come up like first of january or you can take your time like literally by the time you guys will be seeing this video it's going to be like february and I'm basically like just doing it towards the end of January. So take your time, take like your time and be intentional about what you really want to achieve at the end of the day. Like be very intentional about what you want to achieve and just go with it. So one thing I'm also going to say that you need to put in your vision board is that your words of encouragement because um, when you look at it, especially like days where you feel so sad or so down, those words of encouragement has a way of like lifting up your spirit. <laughs> or like just has a way of giving you hope generally that, you know, you're on the right track. Things are going to work out. Keep pushing and keep going through it things are going to be fine so i hope you guys have learned a lot let me know what you guys think your opinion about vision boards things to consider and things not to consider like i said dream as big as you are as big as you want to you know the sky is very big enough you can dream and while you are dreaming while you are putting down your vision please also ensure that you also put in the work and not just putting in the work you also have to like behave in such like behave in a way that suits your goal something like that but i hope you guys get me so something else i also wanted to say is the fact that the length of recent is the fact that you know you also have to behave you have you also have to manage like your little things to be able to like achieve like the bigger goals and what this was just trying to say basically is the fact that you are trusting god that you or basically you have the mindset or the vision that you want to buy a house you want to buy like a mansion you want to buy like a base how are you managing like those little things how are you managing like your room compared to how you are going to manage like a mansion something like that so let's say for an example you want your business to be very big you want to be like an international brand how are you managing your small business how do you even undo like your small business how do you see it how are you taking care of the finances how are you controlling your small business how many styles how are you delegating your job or your business to people because to be honest with you for your business to get to that point where it can really grow internationally according to like what you want you have to delegate you can't do everything so how are you able to carry out those little little functions or those little little activities while you are expecting the bigger picture or the bigger goals to come you get what i'm trying to say like it has a way of also affecting 
anyways i think i've shared a lot so i'm going to go ahead now and just like get down my vision board and i hope you guys do the same let me know if it works for you and your experience so far basically one of my goals this year is to be fit and i'm trying to like keep fit so i basically came for like a swimming class today and i'll definitely be swimming and then i'll bring you guys along with me and i'll also like share the experience and this is also like the first time i'll be swimming here in poland and yeah that's basically Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall relaxing i feel like you guys i'm going to be doing this over and over again relaxing relief i kind of prefer it compared to going to the gym because it's less stressful and you can feel